Welcome, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Zgame Editor Visualizer to render a video direct from FL Studio, ready for upload to YouTube or a similar sharing site. First, let's open our music project. This one's by a fixer, as found in the demo projects folder. Great, let's add Zgame Editor Visualizer from the plugin picker to the master mixer track. I'll detach it so I can move it over the browser and make some room. The black window to the right is a video preview and we can resize that too. A tip, keeping it small will reduce CPU load. Next, let's add some content. From the pictures tab, I'll select the background image. You won't see it yet because we're just adding content to use in layers later. I'll also add this custom transparent PNG image I made earlier. You can add videos too, but this time we'll stick with images. Now for the fun part, let's add these images as layers. From the main tab, we can add our first effect layer. Let's choose image. We'll get a preview pattern because we need to assign an image source. I'll choose a background image, which is template 11. And let's enlarge that with the size control. And bam, so sunset. I'll click the plus button to add a new layer. Note that layers are from left to right, bottom to top in that order. And I'm adding another image, so I'll choose that effect again. Let's select our custom Effixer logo. Uh, Effixer doesn't do small, so bam, excellent. That's a good start, but we can tweak some more. I'll add a vignette effect to draw the eye to the center of the image. There we go. But notice the song title is being dimmed and I don't want that. So let's move the vignette layer to the left so the logo is on top of the vignetting and not affected. Better. As this is a video, we'll need some eye candy, something moving perhaps. And looking at the fixer's round penguin logo gives me an idea. I'll put the polar peak effect around it. So let's see what it does. Okay, we're almost there. How about some image shake with the audio? Perfect. Time to render our video. From the settings tab, choose export to video. Choose your save location and name your video file. When you click save, you'll be shown the video export options. The quickest way is to choose template. I'll go for 1920 by 1080, which is a good high definition size. You can choose 4K, but the video files will get quite massive and you'll need to make sure your source material, like images, are worth rendering to that size too. Click the advanced settings to see what the template's doing. I'll wind the bitrate up to 60 megabits a second to make sure the quality is top notch. Down here, you'll see a summary of any effects used on the video. It's a nice courtesy to cut and paste this into the information on YouTube or a sharing site. Click OK and we're back to familiar territory with the export dialog. Click start and we get both a video and audio render. This will take quite a bit longer than usual as we're also rendering video. And done. So if I check at my save location, here's my video ready for upload to YouTube. Awesome. Before I go, if you need a helping hand to get started, we've provided some templates here. These also pick up the project info that's entered on the project tab in FL Studio. So you don't even need to use an external image editor, which is cool. With that, I'll leave you to render your music videos with FL Studio and Z Game Editor Visualizer.